My name is Sarah Elfrith and I'm running to be your next senator here in District 30. Now we launched this campaign over a year ago in people's living rooms, dining room tables, and the occasional bar, talking about what makes District 30 such a wonderful place to live, but also the challenges we face together as a community. Since then I've knocked on thousands of doors and asked voters one simple question, what issues matter most to you and your family? Now without a doubt, the number one response I get is, what can you do at the state level to mitigate the chaos happening down the street in Washington, D.C.? Now part of me loves that response and part of me hates that response. I love it because people are fired up and ready to go. We have a president who doesn't believe in climate change. We have a Congress that's actively trying to take away people's access to health care. And we have a Department of Education that's trying to privatize our public schools. I hate that response because no one got anywhere running against something. I'm not running against the president. I'm not running against the governor. I'm not even running against my Republican opponent. I'm running for the people and the values of District 30. And I've spent my career working to protect the Chesapeake Bay, strengthen our public schools, and create jobs here in Maryland. At the National Aquarium, I worked on water quality issues, partnered with the General Assembly and Governor's Office to bring in over $10 million to expand conservation education for all Maryland school kids, and even got to play with the occasional sea turtle. I was appointed by Governor O'Malley to serve on the University System of Maryland Board of Regents, working on access, affordability, and quality issues for all of Maryland's colleges. From there, I went on to receive my master's degree at Johns Hopkins in public policy, but it wasn't always easy. I graduated with the help of academic scholarships, and because my father was a teamster and my mother was a state employee, the benefit of union scholarships as well, and I vowed to always give back. That's why my best friend and I started a scholarship to help women get involved in politics and public service, and we became the youngest alumni in Towson University history to endow a scholarship. After that, I went on to work with Johns Hopkins, the University of Maryland, and the National Aquarium, building stronger downtowns, focusing on the innovation economy, and creating jobs of the 21st century. Here in Annapolis, I've served on the board of the Ward Run Residents Association, working on flood mitigation issues and smarter zoning policies to make downtown Annapolis the best place for everyone. And I've served as president of the District 30 Democratic Club, organizing at the grassroots level to register voters and expand access to the polls. Now I have no doubt that 2018 is going to be a referendum on our values. Here in Maryland, we have an opportunity to not just defend, but double down on those values. Every child, every teacher, and every classroom deserves the resources they need to succeed. And in 2019, the General Assembly will be rewriting the education funding formula, and it's our chance to get it right. I'm committed to expanding universal pre-kindergarten, paying teachers what they deserve to keep that experience and talent in Anne Arundel classrooms, and expanding opportunities for career and technical education to prepare kids for the jobs of the 21st century. I'm proud to have been endorsed by the Maryland State Education Association and will be a champion for our public schools in the State Senate. Now we've made too much progress in restoring and protecting the Chesapeake Bay to stop now. Now is the time for us to invest in oysters, to build green jobs in manufacturing of wind turbines and solar panels right here in Maryland and confront sea level rise head on. And of course, we must protect our forests in our critical areas. That's why I've been endorsed by the Sierra Club and the Maryland League of Conservation Voters. And we must do all we can to protect working families here in Maryland. And that means providing meaningful access to health care. That means providing, uh, removing all barriers to treatment for addiction issues and supporting working families with expanded and affordable childcare opportunities and great jobs. Now, most importantly, a campaign is just a giant listening tour. And as your state senator, I'm committed to holding monthly town halls rotated around the district so that I'm listening just as often as I'm legislating. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing you at the polls in June.